The impact of the indictment stretches beyond Atlanta's borders. Surveillance video from Coffee County helped lead the grand jury to consider charges against a slew of people. One of them seen in this video is accused of being a fake elector in 2020. Atlanta News First, Rachel Aragon continues our team coverage now 200 miles southeast of the city. So Rachel, the woman seen in that video once served as Coffee County's chairwoman. Correct, she did and again right here in this indictment in Coffee County outlet heavily here, but many people I spoke to in this county say that doesn't change who they plan to support in 2024. In Coffee County, 200 miles southeast of Atlanta, where a grand jury indicted former President Donald Trump. They're just just really just reaching and just trying to find stuff right now. Talks of alleged attempts to overturn the 2020 election results in Georgia isn't on the top of everyone's mind. Several people involved in the reported voting system breach in Coffee County are among the 19 defendants facing charges. That includes former election supervisor for Coffee County, Misty Hampton, and former Trump attorney, Sidney Powell. She's accused of arranging for a computer forensics team to travel to Coffee County to copy data from elections equipment. It's unreal, really, what, what's, what's happening right now. The sweeping indictment coming out of Fulton County Monday having no impact on Dennis Stevens, who's lived in Coffee County his entire life. He said he voted for Trump in 2020 and plans to do the same next year. We want to see a great nation. That's what we want our town, we want our state and the nation to be great. And it's the folks up there in the, the north don't want that. In 2020, Donald Trump won nearly 70 percent of the vote in Coffee County. After January 6th, I couldn't vote for him after that. Franklin Hayes says right now he's not sure who he's voting for in 2024. I'd like to see Biden out the door, truthfully, and I'd like to see Trump out the door. I would take uh, I would take Brian Kemp over uh, th than uh, than Trump. But after Monday's indictment, he feels if they're going to do that, Trump, which I'm go ahead and great, but let's do Biden's son of them too. And while some people here did say they still plan to support Trump, others I spoke to say they don't know who they're supporting yet in 2024, but they did say as of right now, it's not going to be Trump or Biden. Cray live in Coffee County, Rachel Aragon. Atlanta News First. Rachel, thank you. There is a lot to unpack regarding this indictment. We have multiple articles on the free Atlanta News First app answering all of those questions, including why racketeering is at the center of these charges.